foreignfilmcast.com 49. Headhunters. Good old friend, the everybody bear. knows Barry from school days. Yes. And he recommended for us a movie called Headhunters. Why, why'd you recommend that movie, Barry? I don't know. It just took me on so many twists and turns and uh, just <laughs> felt very different. And maybe, maybe was the price right? Netflix, baby. <laughs> That's right. Available on Netflix. Director is um, Morton Tildum. It stars Axel Henney. It was a 2011 um, Norwegian action film, uh, thriller. So it's, it's definitely a, 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 in the foreign film cast canon. It's a standout movie. I think it has a lot of crowd appeal. Yes, is, uh, indeed. A, a thriller, a lot of fun. Uh, I, I think in general with the thrillers, you can always find a, a, a hole in the plot or two. But uh, I, I, had, I thought it was a fun ride. What do you think, Paul? Oh, yeah, I, I thought it was a great movie. It was... I had a lot of fun watching it. There's some, you know, like you said, some issues you can always point to. But other than that, I had fun. And I guess there's a couple things that were kind of fast to read, to watch the action and the reading. But other than that, it was it was good. It was sexy. It was oh. kinky. It was fast, action-packed, dynamic. But I got lost in translation. Sexy. You, you, you do. You gotta be. You gotta be focused. We were. We were kind of having too much fun. Hard, hard to focus on the subtitles. <laughs> a lot of food. But uh, so the movie starts out pretty quick pace. We're introduced to the main character. And His Roger, name's Roger Brown. Roger. Roger Brown. Roger. Very, a very confident guy, yet underneath maybe not so confident because he tells you that uh, in order to keep his supermodel looking a wife, who's also six feet something. Yeah, so he's a short guy with a tall, <laughs> beautiful blonde, and she just happens. She's also an artist, opening a gallery, and he's funding all this. And, and the way he funds all this is by, by ro robbing uh, wonderful paintings. Right. And uh, he, he starts out with the rules, the rules of how, how you get away with this and how, how you survive, or maybe you won't. So shortly into the plot, uh, there's kind of a, a drop of, uh, oh, there's this special painting that's been lost for years. Rubens. Rubens. Oh, Rubens? Rubens, Rubens yeah. That's and right. uh, it's been discovered because uh, a German had stolen it and uh, the German had a, a lover uh, who, who oh, got her hands on it and passed it on to... Uh, During World War II. Of course, this is too much for him to resist and he thinks this is the big score that will that will set him free. Could be up to 100 million. Tens of millions. 100 million dollars. Yes. And, and there are quite a few plot twists. It keep, keeps you jumping. Uh, there are a few eye rollers, but for the most part, I think it's a good romp. So one one standout scene to me, I think for all of us, was uh, a stinky scene. Is this a spoiler? <laughs> so there's this magical, high-tech, <laughs> GPS tracing material that someone has placed the bad on, guy. <laughs> on our on our protagonist's uh, hair. And he's, it takes him a while to realize this, so he's being tracked everywhere he goes. He's trying to escape. He ends up in, a, in an outhouse. And the, guy, the guy's coming with a gun. He's unarmed. What are you going to do? With what are you going to do? With the big with uh, a big dog. dog, huge dog. Huge dog coming. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So he takes a big swim in the... <laughs> Not so fun. Not so fun. He, he does use a... Uh, what are the, one of those toilet... <laughs> toilet rings. To, for, for a snorkel. A tr yeah, Trace loved it. Any, any last comment? It just reminds you of like Schindler's List, that one scene that's reminiscent yeah, of them Schindler's. in the outhouse. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking a little bit of like Predator when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, has to hide in the mud. Yeah, but it's nice. not. Yeah. But it's different. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole. It's a different <laughs> level. Different. I just more. Th I thought it was the Slumdog Millionaire oh. kind of moment, but it wasn't like he was getting tracked by anybody. <laughs> literally, literally Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, yeah. I, but uh, I thought and he had to run around in it too. For <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I thought of uh, train spotting. There's a scene where he takes a dive into the toilet. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You told me. Any other standout scenes for you guys? All the sex scenes. Oh. That was like. Everyone had like a, a lover or a something. mistress or, yeah. a, or an adultery or something yeah. like that. And everyone. 
Russian prostitute. For Russian prostitute. Well, the, everybody was double timing everybody. I'm thinking, is this just how it is in, in, in Norway? Uh, Norway. Tell us, guys. I don't know. Yeah. You Norwegians. This is standard Please. standard everyday life, right? I think everything really fit the storyline. I mean, I didn't yeah, yeah, find absolutely. it. But, but one, one thing that was kind of fun was yeah. when he calls up his his uh, his buddy in crime and he's like, "There's this heist. We cannot we cannot turn down this opportunity." And the guy's like, "I'm busy with this my girlfriend who comes over like twice a year." He's Russian. And and they're stark naked and they're shooting at each other. But then we realize they're just they're like uh, what shooting blanks, cap guns or something. Okay. Shooting yeah. blanks. I okay, I just don't maybe because I'm just an American and I just I don't get the king. I don't get the whole culture thing. But I was just a little taken aback by that. That's all right. It, 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 it was. Back. Okay. It got my attention. Yeah. Let's just say that. It was fun. <laughs> I liked it. Well, that the bad guy was played by Nikolaj Wald Kostaj Waldo. He's uh, he's been he's been in a lot of movies. Uh, yeah. Oblivion. Yeah. He's also starring in Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. and uh, he was very good. He is yeah. not, but he's not Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he, he played it well. And uh, the other thing was the, the scenes, the, some of the action scenes, you know, like the flying cat. It didn't really <laughs> look that it? real. That somebody <laughs> threw it out over something, right? Yeah. And, and I th also, yeah. I thought that the, the car, initially the car going exploding, like the way it flew, it looked kind of, didn't look that real at first. I, I kind of thought it was... You know, they just cut away to some some car or? getting catapulted somewhere. Was, so wasn't that bad to me. No, so a big thanks to Bear for the recommendation. You can all check it out on Netflix if you want a Norwegian fun thrill ride. Uh, I think it's worth a check out. Good yes. acting, good cinematography, good yeah. script, good, good story. It's a good the story. The characters. And it's I good fun. Subscribe. Good. Yep. Formfilmcast.com. We're on the YouTube channel. MasterPaulFF at gmail.com. Foreign filmcast at gmail.com and Barry's incognito for now. Ciao. Hey,